Hi, welcome. My name is Wendy and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm really excited to show you the project I have today. This project is really sweet. It's a simple box. It's to hold these really cool, they're not dish rags, they are like little scrubbers that are handmade for your pots and pans. The story behind it I'm going to share in the rest of the video, but I'm making today's project for my mother-in-law. If you've been following me, you know that I'm celebrating women all month on my blog and YouTube channel, and I'm excited to celebrate my mother-in-law today. She has been such a guidepost for me. Um, I've known her, obviously, for 15 years. Funny story, I actually knew her as a teenager, so I can share a little bit about that as we make the project as well. But she's just an awesome person she is what i consider like the the example of a sweet kind loving christian woman she's um steadfast she's strong she's sweet she never complains which i think is a huge virtue um you ve meet very few people that are like that she never complains about anything um and she just really embodies what I consider grace and wisdom. She always is very thoughtful in her decision making, which we also joke about because I'm not, I'm very impulsive. And um, so because of that, she makes really great decisions most of the time and she's just, I don't know, she's just a really neat person and I'm blessed beyond measure to have her as part of my life. I really feel like God blessed me when he gave me my husband because he also gave me this fantastic um, additional family to have. So um, let's go make her project. The links for all the products are in the description below the video. Also, if you want to get my Stampin' Anonymous tutorial bundle, it's $9.95. It has six projects made by six different demonstrators. I'm one of them and we do all the measurements. Um, it's all written out, the supplies, everything's written out for you. And then in addition to that, if you want it free, you can get it as long as you place an order with me and I will email it to you for free. Um, let's see, is there anything else I wanted to remember to tell you? Oh, my storage. Isn't it beautiful? The new storage by Stampin' Up! is awesome and it is available to purchase. There are links for all of that below this video as well and over on my blog. You might be asking, why would I purchase Stampin' Up! storage stuff? Um, but for me, it's been life-changing because all of my inks now are easily accessible and they don't fall over because they aren't all stacked on top of each other. And then I have my little Stampin' Write marker stored right next door and my blends are all stored, color coordinated, and I can just pull one out and put it back. Phenomenal. I absolutely love the new storage. And did they like contact me to fit it into my shelving? Seriously, you guys, this was custom made shelving like years ago. And look at that, it fits perfectly. How'd I get so lucky? Okay, so let's go to my stamp table and let's make that project for my mother-in-law. Okay, it's time to make this super cute butterfly gift box and tell you about the pan scrubbies and possibly other stories. All right, here is what I'm using. Tea together for that super cute little happy Mother's Day sentiment because it fits perfectly in a circle punch. I've got rich Razzleberry ink. I've got very vanilla cardstock and the Tea Room Designer Series paper. Now the paper I am using is not my favorite. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It just isn't, it's not my cup of tea. <laughs> tea Room, haha. <laughs> anyway, um, it's not my thing, but I know my mother-in-law will love it because it's soft and it's pretty and it's got butterflies and I know that she will like that. So I made this with her in mind. I'm scoring my first piece of cardstock that is cut at eight and a half by eight and a half at one and three quarters and six and three quarters on both sides. My second piece of cardstock is cut at seven and an eighth by seven and an eighth and it is scored at one inch on all four sides. FYI. I don't want you to worry about writing down measurements because I am going to put them in the description of the video and also over on my blog. So you don't need to stress about writing them out or pausing the video or anything like that. You can literally just click into the description and the info will be there or like I said, go over to my blog and the info will be there. Okay, 
So after we do all of the scoring, we need to fold on all the score lines and do a little bit of trimming. These types of boxes are very straightforward. So literally all you have to do is trim in on one side of each side, <laughs> not each side, two sides. Okay, so just as long as it's directly across from each other. You'll see what I mean here in a second. So the little squares, those are make your tabs. So you're gonna trim in on one edge here, then you're going to trim in here, and then you're going to turn the cardstock and trim in on the exact same lines on the opposite side, and you're gonna do this for the lid as well. Okay. All of the designer series pieces are listed out again in the description below and on my blog. So there's no need for you to stress about writing them down because I've listed them for you. Okay. All right. So we're going to get going here and talk story time. So my mother-in-law, this is funny. When, first of all, when I was in high school is when I met my mother-in-law for the first time. She was one of the librarians at the high school. Now, I didn't know she had children. Um, and she also was there with what is now my aunt, Julie, which was her friend and her brother's wife. And they both worked there as librarians at the library at the school I went to. I did not care for my mother-in-law. <laughs> she just always seemed honestly a little bit grouchy and irritated by me and I was kind of an obnoxious kid as we've established and so probably she probably was she probably was irritated by me and probably did think I was annoying and I probably was those things and she was probably like get out of here kid get, get out of the library so anyway I knew her then but had no idea i I literally didn't know she had children or anything, right? So fast forward like, oh my God, you guys, years later, um, I mean, I was in my 20s and my husband invites me to, we're dating at the time, and he invites me to his parents for the first time for dinner and I walk in and who is there in the kitchen? My mother-in-law. Now, I did not remember her uh, I didn't remember her last name. So when with his last name, it didn't like ring any bells to me. And it's so funny because I also went to school with his cousins. But it's like I just didn't dawn on me that there was relation or something. I don't know. So anyway, I'm standing in the kitchen and I'm looking at the librarian from high school. And I'm thinking, oh God, this woman hates me. <laughs> Like, this woman does not like, what am I going to do? This is what happens when you live in a small town. So, back up just a little bit. My husband and I are six years different in age. So, we never ran in the same circles. We never came across each other's paths because there was just too much of an age gap school-wise, right? So, by the time he was getting out of... He was leaving elementary school when I was going into elementary school, which seems so disgusting when I'm talking about it right now. But, you know, as we get older, the age gap gets smaller. So it doesn't matter. So I met him when I was 22 and he was 28. Doesn't seem like a big deal then, but it's a really big deal when you're 12 and 18, right? <laughs> so I never knew him. And so I walk in and she's there and I thought to myself, well, she knows all my dirty past because I wasn't a good girl and I'm just going to make the best of this. And thank God she had some grace and she was willing to give me a shot because, um, I feel, I think I have proven to her that I'm, I'm worthy <laughs> of her son's love. And so, yeah, anyway, that was really funny that I knew her, but didn't know I knew her. And I also went to the same church as his grandma and didn't know that they were his grandmas. So it's really funny. It was like I knew everybody in his family except him, apparently. So, um, and his aunt, his other aunt, gave me swimming lessons. So seriously, like I knew his entire family, but just didn't know him. So, um, we... 
we hit it off pretty well, and we became pretty good friends, uh, my mother-in-law and I, I feel, and I think that we have maintained that friendship, and of course, there are times that I drive her crazy, and God love her, there's moments where she drives me crazy, because that's the, that is the essence of family, right? I mean, family, that's what family does. They get on each other's nerves, and then they just move on past it, and go, you know what, eh, it's, that's life, and you just go on forward. The interesting thing is one of the things I love the most about her is how thoughtful she is in her decision making. However, she thinks of it as a bad thing. And I kind of, um, it's, it's actually taught me to slow down at times and think through some things because I'm such an impulsive person. So she's really great at that. Um, just kind of really weighing all the options. Now I will say she takes it to a whole new level. God love her. But um, I'll tell you what, she's probably not been burned as many times as I have by stupid mistakes or rushing judgment or rushing, you know, on a decision because she takes her time to make decisions. So, um, but she, she does apply that to every aspect of her life, I have to say. <laughs> Even the small things that I'm like, eh, just who cares? So, um, anyway, all of that being said... Um, she's a wonderful person and I really love her. I love her so much. She's like a second mother to me and she has been so good to me and taught me so many valuable things. And, um, I, she gave me the best part of my life, which is her son. I mean, seriously. And I wouldn't have my daughter if it wasn't for this woman, right? Cause if her son didn't exist, I wouldn't have my baby. So, um, I just love her. So anyway, Here's the story about the scrubbies, and you're going to see them here in a little bit. She has no idea that I'm giving these to her for Mother's Day, and I pray to God that she doesn't, for some random reason, see this video prior to Mother's Day, which she probably won't because no one in my family, in-laws, family members, they don't watch my videos. <laughs> They're not really that interested in what I'm doing. They're more like, yeah, she does that card thing, and she earns trips and I think my cousin calls me the crazy direct sales lady or something like that. So, um, hopefully she won't like all of a sudden randomly decide to watch one of my videos and watch this one because I don't want her to, I don't want to spoil the surprise for her. But when, um, we were moving my sister-in-law and I, by we, I mean really my in-laws were helping prep the house that my sister-in-law now lives in their daughter. Um, they had to clean it out because uh, one of the aunts that lived in that house had passed away and it had to get cleaned out in order for my sister-in-law to live there. So they started cleaning it out. Well, one of the things my mother-in-law said was, I was really hoping that I would find these little scrubby things that Aunt, excuse me, Aunt Eunice used to make. Aunt Eunice was the name of the lady that owned the house that we were cleaning or that they were cleaning. And so she said, um, they were like these little scrubby things and they were the most wonderful pot and pan cleaners I've ever had in my life. And she made them, Aunt Eunice made them, here they are. And she said, I've never been able to find any since. So check it out, you guys. I go to my seamstress who did, made some, fixed some curtains for me that I ordered that were too big. And I look down and I see these and I go, what are these? And she said, oh, these are pan scrubbers and they are incredible. And I make them. And I'm like, oh my gosh. I said, you know what? My mother-in-law was really wanting to find these and she was hoping she would run across them when she was cleaning out her Aunt Eunice's house. And this woman looks at me, stops dead in her tracks, and she goes, Eunice taught me how to make these. And I was like, what? You're kidding me. So this lady, her name's Linda, who, did, who is an incredible seamstress, by the way. Um, she hand makes these. And my husband's Aunt Eunice taught her how to make them. How crazy is that? So I'm like, well, I have to buy some of these. She has like a little area in her sewing shop where she sells a few things. And there were some of them sitting there. And I said, are these for sale? And she goes, yeah, y'all, 
five bucks for two of them. So I'm like, uh, yeah, I'll take four. And so I got these and I cannot wait to give these to her for Mother's Day. It's actually really hard for me to wait till Mother's Day because I'm so excited about the find. So, um, I just thought that was the coolest thing ever that uh, here my mother-in-law had looked for, and this was like over a, probably a year ago that we were going, that she was going through this house and cleaning things out and trying to find these scrubbies, hoping that maybe some were hanging around from when, you know, maybe Eunice had some left somewhere. Um, and, and Aunt Eunice died six years ago. But our house sat vacant for that long. So, um, yeah. So, anyway. And she was a really, she was a crafty lady. She could make all kinds of stuff. And so, they were hoping to find these scrubbies. So, I'm really excited to give these to her and tell her the story. That Linda, who, she knows who Linda is. Like, she probably is going to say, oh, yeah, I know. They used to sew together or something like that. I don't know. But I just think it's so cool that, um, I don't know, I just love stuff like that when it's like this crazy random thing and it just shows you how small the world is, right? And how close we really all are. And I'm really excited to be able to give these scrubbies to my mother-in-law and she's going to be so excited. And then if she's like, where did you get these? I can get more from Linda if anybody else in the family wants some. So I'm excited about that. So on the butterfly, you saw that I cut a very vanilla, a rich raspberry, and a vellum. And then I added, with dimensionals, everything to the box. If you want more tips and tricks and instructions on different cards and projects, click either video you see here. Click the circle with my face in it to subscribe. Shop with me at shoploveandstampin.com. And all the links for everything are below the video in the description. Thanks so much for hanging out. Bye.